So the question is, how do emotions play into Christianity? And as a Christian, what does emotional awareness look like in the sense of um, our Christian faith and our Christian walk? So the enemy will take our emotions and use them against us. And if we don't get down to the root of when we're triggered, then we will be living in these endless cycles and loops of reacting and um, feeling bad about ourselves and, and feeling guilty afterwards and reacting out of anger, um, shame, frustration. And God has made our bodies so amazing that these emotions are actually here to tell us something. So if we tune into them and get quiet and it's like, be still <laughs> um, and know that I am God. So spending time with God and also um, praying for wisdom around our emotions and how to break these enemy strongholds because it's really important to see where your triggers are because they clue you in on past trauma and we've all been through trauma all different types of trauma and it is very painful and if we're not aware of it the enemy will use that trauma to affect our everyday life and our everyday relationships especially our marriage and that's why the enemy attacks our marriage um because he doesn't like marriage, but that's how he attacks at mar our marriages because he's bringing up things from the past into right now and we're reliving them when we're getting triggered by our spouses and we think they're the enemy, but it's really important to tune in to the wisdom that God has within you, to your intuition, um, to your God-given uh, instincts and just see where the root is of that problem is see why you're really getting triggered because triggers as painful as they are they show us where we need healing and that's the beauty of it and then that's where we ask god god help me through this process healing is a process and the enemy will attack that process every step of the way um but it is important to go back there not to stay there, but to identify the root and why we might be acting certain ways, why we might be defensive, why we might have developed these coping mechanisms against um, criticism, against um, loneliness, against, you know, other people being triggered or other people's anger. If we pause, breathe, and count to 10, that gives us um, a whole new way of processing it. Because when we react, it's the enemy's words coming out. But if we pause, breathe, and count to 10, we can connect to the Holy Spirit within us and we can see the pain that the other person's going through too. Because it does take two to tango <laughs> and to start an argument or you know, it's, it's like, you started it. No, you started it. Well, it takes two to make it progress. So if one of you, and I'm speaking to you, empower yourself to do this. One of you takes yourself out of it. The enemy has no stronghold. The enemy can't win. And God is, um, and glory be to God, because He's helping us through um, as we develop these new coping mechanisms, as we develop these new, or I mean not coping mechanisms, but um, these new tools to cope. And that is the most powerful thing. And we do it God's way. And we do it with peace. Sometimes we do it stumbling and fumbling and, and, and you know, falling all over the place, but God has us and the fact that you're aware of it is so amazing because you're changing things. You are breaking cycles. You're breaking generational cycles. You are breaking chains off of you in the name of Jesus. And it's so beautiful because you're not going to pass this down to anyone. 
and it stops with you and you have the power to do that. Ask God for wisdom and healing, who to talk to, any groups, support groups to join. Um, he will show you the way. If you have to journal about it, cry about it, um, and just spend time with him about it, he will take it away and he will change patterns in your life. He's done it for me. I was in this constant argue, anger, frustration, like assuming things about my husband, and then we would butt heads, and that would turn into a huge conflict, just esca escalate really quickly. But now um, I have some tools, and I got coaching, and that was awesome. Um, and I have tools to tune into my intuition, to my emotions, feel it. Because the emotions themselves aren't bad. It's when the enemy gets a hold of the emotions and then we start to act on the emotions. There's a scripture, be angry but do not sin. <laughs> so it's like, feel the anger, process it with the Lord, process it on your own, you know, without your partner or whoever triggered it. And know that they're being triggered too. We're all being, tri being triggered left and right because we have things that we have, have not healed from. And the enemy wants to use those things against us. So those triggers, as painful as they are, and as cyclical as they are, are actually some of the biggest blessings because they cue us in on where we need healing the most. And I have a long way to go, but I just really wanted to share my journey um, because our relationship has improved drastically when I started tuning into myself. And I was so angry because I was just like, you're not giving me what I need. You have no idea what I need. You're so selfish. You're this, you're that, you're angry. But what about me? I was angry. I was trying to fight for what I need, but what I really needed was to surrender. Surrender to my own emotions. And those are God-given gifts. Our emotions are gifts that tell us when something's off, that tell us when we need help, that tell us when we're about to burn out <laughs> or we're angry or passionate about something. Those are gifts. And if we stuff them down, you know, with food or any kind of other addictions or the phone, we're not doing ourselves any favors and our relationships any favors. But when we tune into them, we can have this whole new insight on where these emotions are coming from, most likely from childhood and, um, yeah, just, um, I pray that you find healing within, um, within your life and your heart and, um, find out what your triggers are and reframe it by looking at it as a blessing and not letting the enemy get the best of that blessing because he will use those. And those are easy targets for him because I'd be angry and then that's it. <laughs> the whole day, the whole week, the whole month would be full of anger and resentment. And a lot of times anger and resentment is a more powerful emotion than sadness, but it really comes from sadness. It, it originates with sadness and we don't want to feel it because we feel weak and then we it turns into anger. So that makes us feel a little more powerful. But we do have to process our emotions and feel them in order to heal. So happy processing your emotions. <laughs> it's not always happy. It's not always rainbows and butterflies, but it is so worth it. And your relationship will, you will see amazing fruit 
and abundance from it because yeah, there's nothing like getting to know who God made you and the beautiful person that you are. You deserve your own love. And a lot of times that's just giving yourself space to process your emotions. So yeah, when you're triggered, breathe, count to 10. Maybe take a, a deep breath with each one. Um, you know, in inside, we don't need to we don't need to let the other person know that we're doing this. We can, but, or just say, like, I need to breathe right now. I'm gonna get away from the situation. I need some time alone. I need some time with God. I don't wanna be a part of this right now because I know it's not gonna, the enemy's gonna use it and we're not gonna go anywhere with this argument. And giving yourself that space and introspection and safe space to think and feel whatever you want to think and feel um, and let it all out, you know, by journaling, by talking to a therapist, talking to a friend, going to a support group, do it all, do whatever God calls you to do and then releasing that and then communicating to the other person what you really need, which is not, you know, a lot of times we are pushed and we say, you never do this, you never do that. We're trying to communicate, but at that time it's not effective. And the enemy, it's effective for the enemy. But yeah, you deserve to give yourself space to heal and you have all the power to do that and all the choice to do that. Okay, take care.